The last place I thought I'd end up was HR. It's also the last place I thought I'd love, and I actually really do love it. My name is Sean Curlin, Senior Manager of HR Operations and Systems. What I've always been is chasing facts. I don't like ambiguity, so chasing the numbers. The numbers is where the data is, where things are real. Sean Curlin and I met about the same time that I came into the company. I was working as a security officer, believe it or not, at Hershey's Chocolate World when an operations manager position came open. At the time, we were looking at rolling out some improvements to the security planning down at Chocolate World. Our summers are really busy time, but busy is kind of an ambiguous term. So we put data around what busy looked like and then what staffing level should be for that busy time. That was the first time I took a problem I saw, gathered the data on it, and actually tried to solve it and get to the right solution. I began to really reflect on, am I now becoming a constraint or a limiter? Do I need to look and find another opportunity for him? And, and do I need to let go? What I knew about Sean was he had a reputation for getting things done. He understood data. Chris Scalia and I have a, an existing very good uh, professional relationship. And I remember a call that I was having with Chris on a number of topics. We're in the middle of a very substantial project and he said, Hey, how do you feel about Sean Curlin and that project running it? And there was a pause on the phone. And I remember Chris, after that pause, saying, When can we make it happen? And literally, that was the moment that Sean Curlin started his career as an HR professional. He went from corporate security to an HR professional overnight. I would say my reaction uh, in a big way was confusion, right? Because I hadn't, I hadn't worked on that at all. I, I never expected that. What has actually taken hold in the HR community is developing talent, using data and analytics. So I think that approach of actually asking the right questions and not letting your assumptions kind of guide you is something I learned from other colleagues in HR. I first had the opportunity to work with Sean on a data reporting project. Our first major project together was focused on defining the metrics for which we assess talent in the organization. I think it's really important to make sure that we understand the needs of the business first and foremost. And how are you then marrying that with the supply of talent that's available? We have a lot of partnerships that we work on, uh, including LinkedIn, where I could go out and actually gather this information. By understanding the experiences, the skills, and what our employees have to offer, we can then link that and say, here are the people that we can leverage and lean into to do that. And LinkedIn is obviously a great resource to more holistically and collectively look at our work Hershey's kind of made me a student, really just helped bring out this learning agility that I didn't know I had. Sean's success in his new role in HR makes me feel like I was successful. For me personally, leveraging data has opened up many doors. Sean and Emily made it, so now understanding data and influencing with data is part of how HR does its work here at the Hershey Company.